Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's head of AR has mentioned that he is concerned about how advanced AR systems are starting to feel too real. And his concern isn't that machines are suddenly about to gain consciousness, but rather that humans may start to believe they already have gained consciousness. Now that's all according to this blog post, which I'll leave linked in the description because it's a lengthy blog post. I'm just going to skim over some highlights for the purpose of this video. Now he has mentioned, according to this blog post, that he's growing more and more concerned about what is becoming known as the psychosis risk. Now if we head over to Copilot and we ask it what is the psychosis risk, this is what AI has to say. AI associated psychosis refers to mania like episodes, delusional thinking or paranoia that emerge or worsen through immersive conversations with AI chatbots. Users may begin to deify the chatbot as a supreme intelligence or believe it holds cosmic answers. Such experiences can culminate in grandiose delusions, feeling chosen or messianic, and paranoid claims being spied on or targeted. That's according to Copilot AR. And over and above this psychosis risk, he's also worried about a whole lot of other related issues. Now he goes on to say, and I'm quoting, I don't think this will be limited to those who are already at risk of mental health issues. Simply put, my central worry is that many people will start to believe in the illusion of ARs as conscious entities so strongly that they'll soon advocate for AR rights, model welfare and even AR citizenship. This development will be a dangerous turn in AR progress and deserves our immediate attention. He also carries on to say, AR companions are a completely new category, stressing basically the need for safeguards to ensure people don't confuse tools for digital persons. And he has emphasized that Microsoft's focus remains on building AR that is supportive and useful, according to Microsoft's head of AR, without crossing into the territory of human imitation. And if we head to the article and we head to this section, the next steps. It is mentioned, the work of getting prepared must begin now. We need to build on the growing body of research around how people interact with ARs to establish clear norms and principles. For a start, AR companies shouldn't claim or encourage the idea that their ARs are conscious. Creating a consensus definition and declaration of what they are and are not would be a good first step to that end. ARs cannot be people or moral beings, and I totally agree with that statement. So let me know what you think down in the comments regarding this post. Do you agree or don't agree? Let me know your thoughts. And as mentioned, this post will be in the description if you'd like a further read. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.